Hello students and parents. In this video, let's see how to log into by professor school operating system and access your online live classes and your online courses. Also, let's see how to enjoy learning using the interactives that are integrated with this school operating system. Before we log in, we should know four important information and they are your school operating system URL or the website link, the username of school operating system, the password of your school operating system and the email ID that is associated with this school operating system. This platform or the portal can be accessed from any device, from your mobile phone, from your tablet or iPad and from your desktop. However, we strongly recommend you to access this portal from a desktop or a tablet or an iPad or any device with a larger display. So this gives you a better user experience than mobile. To access your online classes, go to your school operating system website and click on learning. You can click on learning either here or on top navigation menu under school you could find learning. I am going to click here. Now you have to enter your username and password. Under username field, you can either enter your short username or your full email address. Let me log into Vibas account using short username. The moment you log in, you'll land up in your student account page. Here you can update your profile picture. If you would like to edit your bio, you can click on edit profile. Under bio, you can tell about yourself. What is your ambition? What is your favorite sport? And what is your favorite activity all those information and if you scroll down you can change your password and don't forget to click save changes now i don't have any ch changes to do so i'm going back to the student account page in student account page if you scroll down you'll find all the courses that has been mapped to you i'm in vibas account and viba is in grade 6 so i could see all the classes that has been mapped for Viba, okay and as per Viba's uh, class routine or the uh, school timetable now Viba have mathematics class so I'm going to click on this course this is the course of mathematics and here I could see the ebook for grade 6 mathematics I can download it and use it for any reference and the announcement tab I can check is there any announcement from uh, the instructor all right, so there is an announcement. Okay, looks like there is a unit test in algebra on 24th. So this is the section where you can check is there any announcement from your instructor. And to access your lessons, you have to click on curricula. Okay, so here I could see uh, all types of lessons. And as I told you, now I do have a live class. Here is the live class link. Uh, look at the icon, it, it denotes it's a Zoom meeting. So it is a notation that it is a online live class so i could see today's date so uh, clicking on this link so this is a live class lesson and it's going to start by 12 50 pm and that is now you can join either using a browser if you are on a guest computer we recommend you to join using browser and if you are on your personal computer we recommend you to join using zoom application let's see both the model first let me join using browser clicking on join in browser that's it you have joined the online live class let me click join an audio play computer so as simple as that all that you have to do is just click on join in browser next let's see uh, how to join using a zoom application so if you are on your personal computer it's uh, recommended to join using your zoom application uh, let me click on zoom app it will take you to the zoom application that is installed in your uh, desktop or your ipad or your uh, no, tablet let me click on open in zoom meetings okay if you join using your zoom application you have to enter the meeting passcode and the meeting passcode will be over here okay let me copy and paste it here and join meeting that's it now i have joined the online live class click using that's it as simple as that so this is how you'll join your live class either using a browser or using a zoom application now let's explore other lesson types if you want to navigate from a lesson to other lessons 
there are two options if you want to navigate to the next lesson you can click this uh, arrow it will take you to the immediate next lesson uh, and if you have a previous lesson uh, you'll have an arrow here too so this will take you to the previous lesson and uh, the arrow here will take you to the next lesson so this is one way of navigating and another way of navigating to lessons is uh, click on this menu bar you'll see all the lessons listed over here so if i click this uh, i will shrink down so these are the uh, the sections are nothing but the units or the chapters okay so i have a chapter called algebra and i'm clicking on that so when it expands i could see the list of lessons under the algebra unit okay so these are the lessons so here is a, a recorded video class here is an assignment and here are two assessments or the quiz okay so that is how we can navigate and if you would like to navigate to your account or uh, student account page you have to click here on this icon and click on account so that is how you navigate to uh, different uh, locations from a lesson okay now let me uh, navigate to the recorded video class by clicking on algebra recorded video class all right this is how the pre-recorded video class would look like if you click you now the recorded video will uh, start playing here uh, you have a uh, question mark right so if you click on that you can ask your questions you can shoot your questions to your instructors and they will reply to you in offline so let me ask a question and click on add comment okay your question has been now posted and your instructor will be notified about this question and your instructor would reply shortly so you can feel free to ask any questions uh, using this section using this question mark all right and let me navigate to the next lesson type that is our assignment let's see how to uh, take an assignment so let me uh, go to the assignment or else uh, let me use this navigation let me go to the next uh, lesson that is my assignment okay so here is my assignment uh, my instructor has given an assignment application based problem solving okay so this is uh, the question given by my instructor and the instruction is to solve the problem take a photograph and then attach it okay so let me start the assignment here is the assignment you can uh, submit your assignment uh, by uh, you know typing your case study uh, over here or whatever your uh, findings or uh, whatever your answers uh, you can type it here or you can uh, write it in a paper take a photograph of it and then uh, attach it so there are multiple options either you can attach a, a presentation you can attach a pdf you can attach a powerpoint presentation you can attach uh, a video audio any kind of assignment you would like to you can submit using these options all right so let me submit this assignment hi ma'am and let me attach the file okay so i'll attach this image okay see the file has been attached and i'm going to submit the assignment by clicking on send assignment the assignment has now been submitted successfully and it is pending for instructors review so that is how you will submit an assignment or a homework okay now let's navigate to the next lesson type that is an assessment or a quiz okay so let me click on this assessment okay so here is the button to start the quiz the moment you click on start quiz uh, the timer will be uh, enabled and you have to start taking the quest let me click see the timer has now started and here we have the track on how many questions are being answered so the first question is fill in the gap question type how many vertices are there in a triangle okay let me type here that's three let me go to the next question please match the following so this is a match the following or item match uh, question type Okay, so all that I have to do is drag the correct answer to the right box. Okay, let me go to the next question. See, I, I have uh, questions based on pictures as well. So how many vertices are there in the figure? So I can mark as five. Let me go to the next. This is a 
uh, interesting question type where if I enter the right keyword, it will it will be picked by the system automatically. So a triangle has three sides. Yes, that's a correct answer. And a triangle has three vertices. That is also correct. And a triangle has three angles. All right, so I got all the three keywords correct. Now I'll get full marks for this question. Let me go to the next question. Oh, it is a multi-choice question. So I can, there could be more than one answer correct. So I can choose any number of answers here. That a triangle has three sides and also three angles. Okay, so now I'm done with all the five questions, five out of five. Let me submit the quiz. It's asking the confirmation, click OK. Ta-da! I got 80 percentage so the pass grade is 50 percentage but I have scored 80 percentage so let me see uh, what all the answers I got it right and what all wrong show answers see the, my first question is everything right my last question is wrong oh okay so this is where I made a mistake so that's how uh, you know the right answers and wrong answers will be shown to you after you submit the quiz now let's see how to access your school dashboard and check out useful information like your attendance, exam timetable, class routine, announcements, messages and lot more. Click on this uh, dashboard link or uh, go to top navigation menu under school you could find dashboard. So both the link would take you to the same destination and clicking here and this is the school dashboard. Here you could find a lot of uh, useful information like this is an information about me, this is information about my teachers and here is the messages uh, where uh, messages from my class teacher or a subject teacher or a principal or a management would be directly communicated and here is the notice board. Is there any announcements? Uh, I could check it here. See there are two holiday announcements. Let me go back to the dashboard and let me go to messages and see is there any messages using this messaging system. Uh, your class teachers or the subject teachers can directly communicate to you and you can communicate back to them as well by using this compose message let me go back to the dashboard all right so here are the subject details and then the instructors who are handling those subjects and i can check out the syllabus of each subject by downloading this all right so here is my class routine or my class timetable so i belong to class 6 uh, section A and my weekly timetable is listed here. If I go to exam, I could find out uh, what all the upcoming exams that has been listed uh, and I can check out the syllabus of the exam and also I can check out the timetable of the exam. So here is the exam timetable. So like that I can uh, check all the information about my exams uh, and sometimes even I can uh, download the hall ticket for the exams in this section once uh, the hall tickets are issued. Next is the hostel. I can uh, check out my hostel details. Uh, these are the uh, hostel buildings. And then these are the rooms that are available in the hostel and the availability status. What is the capacity, bed capacity, and whether that room is available or not. Information will be displayed here. And this is the bed list. So whether uh, under a specific um, room, I can check availability of the bed, if that bed is available or not. So that is how you can check the hostel details transport so here you can uh, find out the information of your school buses or the uh, transport vehicles its route name and what is the vehicle number who is the driver and the contact number and what is the route path so all this information will be uh, transparently displayed to you under transport section so that you will be aware of uh, all your transport information and here is the notice board uh, which uh, we already had a look at there could be announcements uh, from your school which can be displayed under this notice board messages also we have already seen this is the place where your uh, class teachers or your subject teachers or your principal or your management can directly communicate to you via messages and you can communicate back also using this compose message All right and here is the holiday list where you can check out the uh, upcoming holidays in your calendar and then there is the library okay so this is my name let me check out what all the books i have taken all right see it, it uh, shows the book name which i have issued and then what is the issue date and what is the return date and what is the period how many days i have uh, used this textbook and uh, is there any overdue 
and if there is any overdue what was the fine so all this information will be listed over here and finally we have the account section where I can edit my account information like uh, address and then change the password the same dashboard will be accessible for parents if they log in using a parent login ID a separate login ID for parents will be given by the institutions let me log into the dashboard using a parent login ID once I log in, I'll be able to see the same dashboard that was available for a student. A parent could also see all the information about their children like teachers, attendance, message, notice board, holiday, library. So all the information that was available in a student dashboard will also be available in parent dashboard. And an additional feature for parent will be the school fee payment. In this section, a parent could check the status of the school fee payment. And if it is not paid, a parent could click pay and pay the school fee in few clicks it will ask me for the email and the card details if i enter and click pay that's it the school fee payment will be done in few clicks for schools who have subscribed for self-study plan will have this self-study module enabled in this module all the topics in math and science of ncrt curriculum will be explained in exacting rich 3d animated visuals it is also integrated with AI powered assessment system which will be a complete guidance for your self-study journey let's explore this module click on self-study it will take you to the self-study platform and this platform works well in desktop laptop iPads and tablets it is not recommended in mobile phone for better user experience and learning experience let me log into the platform click on login and use the same credentials that you use in your school operating system Here you can see the highlights of your last session and here you can track your progress and here you can find your usage. Alright, so let me go to my curriculum and mathematics is selected but I want to explore science. So let me click on science here and then click on view curriculum. So here is the list of topics in my science grade 6. I would like to learn about light shadows and reflections. Alright, and in this I would like to learn about mirrors and reflections. The moment you select a subtopic to learn, the AI system will ask you five questions and these questions are just to understand your current knowledge so that the AI system could train you accordingly. So feel free to answer these five first questions and no points will be calculated. Let me answer randomly. Okay. See after my five questions, the AI system got activated and it starts giving me the hint and it also started giving me the concept videos so by clicking on this concept videos I can learn and then try answering all these answers so let me try to learn using a concept video let me select mirror and reflection wow here comes the video In your room, you may take your mirror for granted, but mirrors can be used in many different ways. We use them for fun events like this disco ball covered in mirrors or to create funny images like in laughing mirrors. And what makes a mirror capable of producing images is its ability to reflect light. Let's learn about mirrors and their reflection. Every person uses a mirror daily. You can see your face in the mirror. Actually, what you see is a reflection of your face in the mirror. Now, we shall see some simple activities to study more about reflection produced by a mirror. You can see this beautiful picture. You cannot... So, this is how your concepts will be explained. It was awesome, isn't it? And here you can take tests. So at present, I do not have any test schedule, but you will have. So whenever you pass a test or answer practice questions correctly, you'll gain MBM points here. 
So these MBM points can be used to play games in this play section. See, you should have at least 2000 MBMs earned in order to play these games. And whenever you earn more uh, points and you'll have more options to play the games. That's interesting, isn't it? Not all the topics may require a video explainer. Few topics may require only problem solving questions and practice questions. For such topics, you may not have a video explainer. If you would like to know what all the topics that has video explainer, you can download this tracker from your school operating system. It will give you a list of topics that has video explainers. Now let's explore the amazing interactives such as educational games, simulations and other learning tools that are integrated in our school operating system. Before we access these interactives, I would recommend you to log into the school operating system because only then you'll be able to access these interactives. If you scroll down, you'll find all the interactives being listed here and let's explore one by one. I'll start with this kid zone and this kid zone is for kindergarten students who belong to age 3 to 6. Here they can find a lot of educational games uh, where they can learn about shapes, colors, numbers, alphabets, living beings, non-living beings and a lot of information in a fun-filled gamified way. Let me explore one game. I'll choose a living and non-living things. Okay, looks very interesting. Let me click here so the game gets loaded. Okay, now the game is loaded and I have to click again to play the game. Welcome to Living and Non-Living Things with Millie and Finn in a backyard exploration. Millie and Finn are exploring their backyard. Can you help them find living things? That's right. The dog is a living thing. Great. The butterfly is a living thing. Yes, trees and plants. Tap and listen. All living things reproduce. All living things need water and food to survive. All living things. So, what would be a non-living thing? Tap on it. That was very interesting, isn't it? Yes. This is how all the educational games for kids will be. So, student would definitely enjoy playing these games and at the same time, they will learn a lot of explainers. Next, let's explore our solar system. This is one of the best simulation we have in our platform to understand the solar system model. It will take a while for this simulation to load because it is very rich in graphics. The simulation is getting loaded. Once the simulation is loaded, you will see a very interesting introduction video being played. I will always watch this video for a while because it will be very fascinating. It will give you the highlights of this uh, simulation. The, the video will be very interesting. So this intro video will be playing until you click on the screen. Once you click on the screen, the introduction video will stop and the simulation will get loaded. Let me click the screen. Wow, here is the space view and 3D view of our solar system. I am able to see the imaginary orbits, our planets, our sun, the comets and asteroids. Wow, this is amazing. I would like to explore the Mars, so let me click on the Mars. Okay, it's asking me to explore. Okay, it's asking me should I visit the Mars? Yes. Oh wow, this is amazing. Alright, so it's asking me should I explore the planet system of Mars? Yes, I would like to. Here I could see the satellites of the Mars and its orbit, imaginary orbit. It's looking damn cool. Let's see how far it is from the sun. And if I click on the clip video, I could read the interesting facts about the Mars. That's very cool. Let me go back. If I click on structure. Oh, I get the cross-sectional view of the Mars and the information about the crust and its core. This is very interesting. Next, let me click on night sky. Okay, 
this is one of the uh, most interesting part of this uh, simulation where if you click on night sky when you are exploring a planet or a star it will give you the real time position of the planet for example you know i have uh, uh, been exploring the mars and i have clicked night sky so it gives me the exact position of the mars uh, if you go out and stand on a ground facing south and southwest on uh, 2021 22nd april at 9 pm uh, it will show you the exact position where the mars is located so that is the best part of the simulation uh, it will be very interesting so you can uh, uh, go out stand on a ground and point out the planets that you would like like solar system uh, we can explore other simulations as well you can explore the night sky you can explore the uh, nearby stars and a lot of the simulations are available that is associated with our uh, space it will be very interesting for students who are uh, interested in astrophysics and who would like to become an um, astronaut and who likes a space so it will be very interesting next let's explore planet earth this globe is the best way to learn geography it helps students understand where they live where other places on the world are located it also helps in relational understanding between the places and locations and the best part is it can take you to any part of the world let me go to eiffel tower which is in paris wow this has taken me to the eiffel tower and this is what the modern generation needs students can enable the label to understand the political boundaries and name of the places also students can switch between the 3d globe and the legacy 2d maps it opens up multiple dimension for students to understand geography now let's see about virtual lab it's a collection of virtual laboratories where you can perform science and math experiments any number of time it helps you understand science deeper and make connections with real time life let's explore uh, any one experiment let let me go to my favorite one a simple one too here it is circuit construction it will take a while for simulation to load because it is a rich graphic content okay let me go to intro here it is so i could find battery wire bulb resistor and switch and here is the voltmeter and ammeter to measure the values okay let me start with the battery fantastic let me take a wire and let me take a switch and let me take another wire and let me take a bulb and let me take a and the wire and connect it here it is my circuit is done and if i switch on the circuit gets closed and the electron flow happens and the bulb glows so that is how you can perform experiments and understand science much deeper and here is the voltmeter where you can take readings i'll place it on this battery and check how much voltage is flowing through wow it's 9 voltage and let me keep this aside and measure how much ampere is Uh, 0 0.90 amps that's interesting isn't it and the best part is all these simulations are built by Colorado University and the values are true scientific values and here will be the description and what you will learn the learning goals and at bottom is the teachers section so this is for teachers so if you expand it you'll find the video for teachers which will explain uh, teachers what uh, this uh, experiment is all about and what a student could learn in this and how you can set an uh, task or assignment or an interactive activity to the student using this virtual experiment here is also the pdf guide it will explain you a step by step and all the features about this experiment now let's see about enjoy coding and ignite creativity both the link would take you to the same platform where you can learn coding robotics 3D modeling and lot more with a self-study step-by-step guide and do-it-yourself project models. In this platform, you could find numerous projects 
and you can filter them based on topics or based on a hardware it could be a raspberry pi or a 3d printer or you can filter based on software or you can filter based on level let me filter html css projects with level one i want to create a bird watch website here are the step-by-step -step instructions which will help you create a bird watch website all the information will be given like what you will make uh, what you will learn and what you will need the hardware the software all that you have to do is just follow the instructions and do the project by yourself like this you can learn robotics you can learn 3d modeling you can learn game creation and lot which is very essential for the modern education next let's explore curiosity videos it's a library of animated videos and documentaries that are informative, educational, and fascinating. It helps you gain knowledge beyond your curriculum and understand the real world around you. Let me click on a curiosity video. Every 24 hours, wind generates enough kinetic energy to produce roughly 35 times more electricity than humanity uses each day. And that was interesting, isn't it? You can find such videos all over the internet and YouTube. But the advantage of learning here is you'll not be suggested with related videos and you'll not be spammed with advertisement. You'll be focused on healthy learning contents. Let's see about Knowledge Festival. It's a platform where you can find amazing events like internships, workshops, webinars, science contests, innovation carnival and lot more. Here you can find the list of events. Now I have only one event and that is Yoga for Focus. Let me try applying for that. Here is the event detail, the date, time and the category of the event, description about the event and here you can add this event to your Google Calendar and Apple Calendar. You can share it to your friends and this is where you can apply for the event. An uh, important thing here is in order to apply for an event in this platform, you should be a registered user in K12 by Professor website. If you have already registered, you can fill the details uh, and directly enter your username and password and apply. In case if you are not a registered user, you have to sign up by clicking here and then apply for this event. Now we'll see about the super cool music lab. This music lab makes music accessible through fun and hands-on experiments. It also makes students explore the music and its connection with science, math and art. There are so many music labs. Let me choose any one. Okay, I'll choose song maker. Okay, it gives me a preview how to play it. Let me give a try. Okay, so there is an option to change the tempo and these colors denotes, you know, different uh, music values and I have an option here to change the instrument as well. Okay, so in this instrument I'll do and add the composition from here. <laughs> that was horrible, isn't it? And here there is an option to record my voice even and settings oh here is some export level inputs cool and here is an option to play whatever it composed let me see how it is wow that was pretty cool isn't it all right so here i have an option to save let me see okay so i can download this composition as an audio file or i can share this uh, composition link to my friends that is damn cool so this will definitely help students explore their uh, music intelligence and also make connections with art uh, science and math this is damn cool for sure